Austin Crocus here, giving you guys a idea of how you could use the Winter Break Maximizer Packet. So watch closely as Jesse and I try to stay serious and not laugh while we role play what it could be like to go through the packet. Just a reminder, we don't have the power to control or make any students go to the conference. That's God's job to motivate their hearts. All we can do is give them good reasons to go. In fact, that's our responsibility is to give all these students uh, some great reasons to pray about going to the Winter Conference. So why don't you uh, grab a cup of coffee. This video is about 10 minutes long uh, or a spot of tea. I'm here at Lytor's house and uh, Brad's place. Very nice. Anyway, and we will um, hopefully uh, be able to encourage you guys with an idea of how you can use this packet in an actual so um, uh, student discipleship appointment in a way that will uh, yeah, give them a chance to really understand how to pray and trust God with going or not going. God bless you guys. Praying for you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, Jesse. Hey, how's it going? It's going well, man. How have you been? Not too bad. Cool. Yeah. You, yeah, you got out of class and you busy be here. Busy studying and... Yeah, actually, a class was canceled today, so... Oh, that makes sense. Well, good score, deal. yeah. I'm glad you're able to meet me here in the Student Union building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad that, uh, you know, last week we talked about, um, you know, bringing up the Winter Conference, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you about it, because I got uh, some new, I guess, a new resource on it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but how are you doing otherwise? You've been doing okay with... Trust in God with that situation we talked about last week. Yeah, you know, I haven't, honestly, I haven't been in the Word too much lately about that, but yeah, I'm glad we're meeting today so we can talk about that issue a little bit more. So. Right. Well, you know what? Uh, let's bring that up uh, in a little bit, but, you know, I want to make sure to talk about this Winter Conference because it's coming up. The price is going up later. I know you're kind of interested in it. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you know what? If you're able to go to the conference, it's really going to be a cool place to grow because I know a lot of other guys um, you know, you can relate to, and you'll get to go a lot deeper with students from other campuses and stuff too. So okay. I brought this, uh, <clears throat> it's a, a packet, it's called the Winter Break Maximizer, and uh, the question there on the front is uh, something that would be good to discuss, but when you think back to your past couple winter breaks, you know, as an adult, how you spent Christmas and New Year's, what are some things that you really enjoyed, or what are some regrets that you have? Wow, well, as an adult... Man. Yeah, so I'm not talking about opening up your first, you know, robot kit, uh, okay. kit or whatever. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, mainly just spending time with family and, um, yeah, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mainly just time time with family is probably the biggest thing that stands out. Cool. Over breaks. So, right. Yeah, no, yeah. me too. Yeah. I have a lot of good memories with my family getting to see people you don't normally see. Eating all the good food, you know, obviously. I can also remember, um, man, going home for break to uh, my old college party buddies and mm -hmm. doing things that I regretted doing. You know, I yeah. had spent a whole semester of growth in Christ, and then I got surrounded by uh, some old friends, an old girlfriend, and just making choices that uh, I went on to regret, and I felt like I took a few steps back in my walk with God. Yeah. I also have enjoyed going to conferences. You know, I've been to a winter conference a few times that uh, are designed to help college students grow in Christ. And uh, mm -hmm. every time I've been around that kind of fellowship for an extended period of time over break, which I've, I've gone to a couple of them before, it's just a lot of fun to really connect deeply mm -hmm. with the Lord, with others, making new friends, and, and my own experience. You know, doing things that I don't regret, having the kind of break that I don't regret. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, if you want to take a couple minutes and look through the, the first few pages of that packet, I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee. So okay. just read through that. Read through the first. It'll probably take you five minutes. Okay. Just read through those five cool. pages. Do. Okay. All right, Jesse, did you get a chance to look over that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Okay, good. Well, hey, I wanted to uh, bring your attention to this page uh, where it says, What about you on it? And uh, this is kind of where maybe we can ask some, uh, I can ask you some more questions. But what do you think? It says here, do you think this conference could help you to make some great memories with Christian friends? What do you think about that after looking through the packet? Sure, yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. Right. It's designed to get a bunch of fun yeah, believers together. Yeah, parties are going, so. Cool. Sure. It's kind of a no-brainer. What do you think? Do you think this conference could help you to grow in your personal relationship with Jesus? 
Yeah, I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it sounds like, yeah, it's really focused on growing in your walk with God and yeah. something I could definitely use yeah. in my life. So all the talks sure. are going to be pointed towards that. Small group discussions, the worship team, it's all going to be aimed yeah. at growing in Christ. So it's kind of a no-brainer too. Well, what do you think? What other things would you enjoy about this conference if you did go? Outside of growing with friends in Christ, but was there anything in the packet that stuck out to you? Yeah, well, I mean, it looks like there's a lot of fun. You know, I'm a really good snowboarder. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you see so, that day of outreach on the snowboard? Yeah, yeah so the ski slopes would be pretty good. Pretty good to, uh, yeah, go snowboarding and talk about Jesus. So it right sounds on. like a win-win. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good deal. Well, here's another question: What things could keep you from going? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I'd have to try to get work off. That would be a big, big one. Um, so we also have some family coming in town. My parents and my parents always expect me to be there. And yeah, so it's just right, kind of sure. like, you know. Um, so yeah, basically work and family, you know, probably the biggest things that would get in the way. Mm-hmm. So, sure, no, I can see that. Yeah. Well, here's um, here's the big question, probably what it comes down to in light of how they're, you know, Lots of the best things in life aren't easy, so there might be some challenges. But the question is, do you believe that God wants you to be a part of the Winter Conference this year? Mm. And how would you know? I mean, does that seem like a valid question? For example, yeah. if God wanted you to go, do you think he would make a way for the money to come through or for your parents to still love you and let you be gone for five sure, years? Or yeah, I mean, I think he could. Sure. Yeah, I guess I'd have to pray about it. I, don't, mm-hmm. I guess I couldn't really answer that question for sure right now, but... Mm-hmm. Um, that seems like what I need to answer. Mm-hmm. So so that's a big deal. Two big things to do at this point, Jesse. One of them is to pray about this. The okay. other thing is to engage your brain and think about it. So okay. why don't we pray and ask God to lead our thinking, and we'll go through this uh, pros and cons list. I don't know if you've ever done that before. but Okay. So let me just pray for us. Sure. God, thanks for giving Jesse and I time to meet today. And uh, I ask that you would lead our thinking to uh, discern your will. Um, if this is uh, really a great uh, thing that Jesse should be pursuing going to this winter conference this year. Christ's name, amen. So the idea here in doing this pros and cons list, which will help us to uh, really ask God and he will give us some answers on uh, if you should go or not, would be to develop a list of the best reasons that you should go. Okay. And to also admit, you know, the real reasons that maybe you shouldn't go. Mm-hmm. So um, let me just grab a pen here, and okay. I'll just start jotting these down. But what do you think would be good about going to this conference? What is what are some of the pros? Uh, kind of like stuff we've talked about, like fellowship with people on campus. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it'd be really cool to get to see other students from other campuses. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, just we don't have that have a chance to do that a lot so that sounds pretty sweet i know you connected with um that one girl at spring break trip too yeah yeah, yeah she seemed pretty god i mean so to talk cool to you about that like i'm not sure how to, how to talk to her about it but be a good place to get to know people. yeah that's sure. all let's just leave it at that okay sweet what else i mean you mentioned you know really wanting to be more consistent in your walk with christ yeah so I, mean, I just talks, feel like maybe it would just help there. maybe kind of kick start that you know mm-hmm. um yeah, sounds the theme of the conference sounds really cool. Um, just like new, yeah. So just getting getting more time, like immersed in God's word. Yeah. Um, cool. And what about the cons? The, realistically, you mentioned sure, a couple. Sure. Yeah. Them. Well, I was I was going planning on watching the you know Parks and Rec. I need to rewatch that whole series. Mm-hmm. Did um, you use the word need there? You need to rewatch that whole series. Yeah, you know, I guess maybe. How about you want to? I'll just write down. You want to watch okay. Parks and Rec? Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. I can understand that. Money, mm-hmm. family. What do you mean, money? Just like if I take time off work, you know, I'm going to lose out some money. And Okay. So the conference um, is going to cost 160 bucks if you register by the 31st. But realistically, if you missed, what, four days of work? Yeah. That also might set you back. True. Maybe what, a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, a couple hundred bucks. Okay, so you got yeah. financial cost. Um, you see your parents. Yeah, I mean, just like trying to convince my parents that you know why I'm not going to be with family and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So how old are you now? Uh, twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah, cool. it's good for you to talk to your parents. Yeah, about that kind of stuff and not just expect yeah. them to dictate your. Um, so yeah, you have, is, we they, have like twenty five. They still off. think I believe in Santa Claus, so. 
it's like I'm trying to keep that whole thing going. I feel like I, I get more right. stuff. Surely you just, let's get to the real issue. Your parents <laughs> think you're a teenager and you need to let them know uh, some good reasons why you should go. For example, you're not asking your parents for permission to go to an Ozzy Osbourne festival in Houston. You're trying to hang out with a bunch of Christians and grow in your faith. And I think you could probably give them three or four good reasons why you could go. Nonetheless, right. getting your parents' permission yep. is a good deal. So let's just put that down here as a con. Any other big cons? It's 12 o'clock. Not really. I mean, um, yeah, there's not really anything else. Okay. It seems bad about it or negative right. about it. So, so it sounds like you need to really um, figure out this financial thing. You need to talk to your parents about it. Um, parks and Rec, you'd still have 15 days of break where if you needed to squeeze that in. I imagine you can make that happen. Your favorite TV <laughs> yeah, show, right? Probably. Okay. Yeah. So let's just say we'll see if that can happen outside of this conference. If you were to talk to your parents and maybe talk to work about getting off, you know, making sure you had enough money for mm -hmm. paying your rent. Um, do you, when do you think you can make a decision by it? When would you be able to figure out? You know, this is the last question. Uh, yeah. When do you think um, you should make a decision by? No, really, I should probably decide now. Just. I mean, not today, but probably like maybe within a week, I could mm -hmm. probably get this figured out. So today's you know? the 9th. Today's Monday. Do you think this weekend you'd be able to talk to your parents, call work? Yeah, I think so. Figure out your finances. Maybe so next week today, a week from today, do you think you can make a decision by it? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to write that realistic. down here. So that would be... What? Nine plus seven. So, okay, what is that? November 16th, make a decision by, and next Monday we'll talk about it when we get together. Cool. And then cool. maybe next week we can talk about this last page too, okay. which is if you're planning to go, what are your next steps? If you're not planning to go, well, let's make some goals for your, for your uh, winter break anyway. Okay. So, um... Does so it sound pretty good? Yeah, sounds All right. great. Let's talk about that girl problem. Oh, uh, yeah. It's really, yeah it's, uh, her name is Rhonda, right? It is, yeah. And she is kind of hounding you? Um, you think she's putting pressure the, on her The, the thick? problem is, is there's like actually like seven girls. Wow. That. Do you have a good all... stick to kind of. Maybe I need to get that. All right. Maybe.